what comes to your mind when you hear the word tango? Most people think about tango, it's a mysterious, it's a passionate dance that comes from outside of the UK and it's often danced in red and black, there's often a rose involved, it's a man and a woman dance about passion. That's about as much as we, most of us know. I decided to talk to a few people on the streets and see what first comes to their minds when they hear the word tango. Let's take a look at that. Uh, character, um, dress, uh, red, uh, black, I don't know, <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> well, I don't know much about it. I know it comes from Argentina, I guess. I don't know, I'd like to get to know more about it. But yeah, the first images that come to mind are like a rose and people dancing in yeah, a pretty sexy way. Well, first of all, let's talk about what is tango, what types of tango they are. Tango comes from Argentina and there are two types, tango escenario and social tango. Tango escenario is probably what you might have seen in some shows. This is usually staged, it's completely choreographed and yes, it's beautiful. There's a, sometimes quite a bit of acrobatics involved um, and it's very expressive. The second tango type that most of us do and that is probably less known to people outside of the scene is tango social tango. The idea is that you come together with people you might not necessarily know, people you have never danced with before and you're able to dance with them. So it's an improvisation, it speaks a common language, the music is playing and there are lots and lots of people of different ages, of different levels of dancing and you can meet new people, you can meet your old friends, you have, can have drinks and you can go dancing. So you don't, you don't have one fixed partner, you, you exchange, you invite people, you get invited and it's about improvisation. This is the main type of tango that you will learn if you go to any tango school anywhere in the world. What is the most fun thing about tango? What is the best thing? Why should you do it? As long as you can walk, you can dance. If you can hear the music, if you, if you can embrace the person next to you, and if you're able to walk, you can dance tango. This is the beautiful thing about it. And of course, it's improvisation, it's creativity. You are being creative together with another person. It's so universal. It's, it's, like a, you know, it's like a language that you speak. Instead of English or German or Chinese, you can speak tango. And you can go to China without speaking a word in Chinese and you can dance with local dancers. Tango is not very difficult if you think about just the basic things. So tango, like the, the steps in tango are really basic. There are a few of them and the, uh, the improvisation is, the, is combining all of those basic things into something new, into something that responds to the music you currently hear and to the person you have currently in your embrace. The difficulty of tango, of course, is getting, getting it really good. So not the moves themselves are very difficult, but to make them look good, to make them really, really perfect, to make them really stand out and for you to have those beautiful lines, that is the difficulty. You want to become better and better. And it, it definitely pays off to become better and better. You know, it's, it's with each new class, with each new concept that you learn about, it's like a new door opening in front of you, like, wow, there's so much more out there and I want to get to know it. Tango gives you anything you want. It's, it's what you make of it. It's what you are and who you are and who, how you want to communicate with, with the other people in the dance. I hope this was useful. I hope this was interesting. I tried to cover some of the basic things that tango is about and I really hope that you are now curious and you are going to try at least try tango, try, give it a try, see if this is something for you. Be open to new experiences and I hope you have fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to making another one next week and let me know if you have any questions. See you soon. Bye.